Literary Analysis on Magnificence by Estrella D. Alfon. Estrella D. Alfon was a well-known prolific Filipina author who wrote in English. Professional life, she was a student in Cebu when she first published her short stories, in periodicals such as Graphic Weekly Magazine, Philippine Magazine, and the Sunday Tribune. She was the only female member of the Veronicans, an avant-garde group of writers in the 1930s led by Francisco Arcelana and H. R. Ocampo. Her works includes all her achievements, from Palenka Awards to Stories, Forever Witches, One Act Play, with patches of many hues, One Act Play, Magnificence and Other Stories, Stories of Estrella Alfon, and Servant Girl. Alfon died on December 28, 1983, following a heart attack suffered on stage during awards night of the Manila Film Festival. About the story, there's a man named Vicente who volunteered himself to tutor the two children which is a boy and a girl. Vicente gave them pencils. Due to his kindness, the family trusted him so much. On that evening, Vincent came earlier than usual. The children noticed him that made them put their lessons down. They started talking. Vicente asked the boy, Oscar, to get him a glass of water. When the boy left, he held the girl and put on his lap. The little girl felt uncomfortable. Vicente's face was all in sweat and his eyes looked very strange. The little girl jumped away and the mother saw everything that happened. She slapped and throws Vicente out of the house. After that, the mother bathed her child. She accompanied her child to her room and laid beside her. She covers her gently as the girl fell asleep. Analysis based on the two approaches. Feminist and Marxist Criticism Feminist, Magnificence is a story of a mother, despite of being a woman, did not hesitate to show and give all her might to shield her daughter from a wicked man. It also shows how a woman find her strength to rise up against the man's abuse. Vicente deceived the family by showing the good side of him, which is the soft and taming man. But in the latter part of the story, his true character reveals. His real intention with the little girl was to take advantage of her innocence. The part wherein Vicente placed the little girl on his lap, this shows either he loved kids or he has a hidden desire with the little girl, and the part wherein he slapped the boy and tell him that boys did not kiss boys. Estrella Alfon, the author and a feminist, shows her point of view in our society. Men being the strong one, and women the weak. But in her story, Magnificence, she emphasizes the strength of a woman, especially a mother, which is shown at the end when the mother comforts her child. Marxist, the story represents a middle-class family who can afford to pay someone to teach their kids at the comfort of their homes after school. The parents have a good job and the kids go to school. Their mother is a president in their village. So it shows that they are a well-off family in the society. This man, Vicente, volunteered to be the kid's tutor as an extra job in the evening. This man probably is from a lower income sector in the society. In the story, characters are from different classes in the society which depicts the mother being in a higher class than Vicente. It also shows trust and respect at the start of the story. And in the latter part, the mother exhibits being strong enough as a woman, and that she has authority towards her children. This is the part where the conflict arises not only in gender but in social classes. The act of slapping Vicente is letting him feel that he has no right and he is being paid to do his job and not abuse the children. And lastly, I believe that the theme of the story is about women empowerment. And also, every mother would definitely do anything to keep their children safe. Gender equality implies society in which women and men enjoy the same opportunities, outcomes, rights and obligations in all spheres of life.